Corneal abrasions are very painful. Fortunately, they heal very quickly, but let's go into a little bit more detail. The cornea is that clear window on the surface of the eye. So right where your colored part of your eye is, is covered by the cornea, which is kind of like a, a watch face or clear window. If you're to touch your eye with your finger, you're touching the cornea. If you put a contact lens on top of your eye, this is the cornea that that contact lens is riding on. Now the cornea, it, even though it's clear, has several layers. It's covered by a very thin layer of skin called the epithelium. And this epithelial layer keeps the, uh, the cornea healthy, keeps bacteria from getting into the eye. However, it's like a, a thin layer of skin that can scratch off very easily. A piece of sand in the eye, blink a couple times, it can scratch this epithelium off, which hurts a lot. There's more nerve endings in the surface of the eye than there is really anywhere else in the body per square inch. So the smallest little scratch here really, really hurts. So um, basically you can get a big scratch on the surface here. This little epithelial is uh, rubbed off. Fortunately, um, this layer of skin also heals very quickly. So literally within a day or two, uh, assuming you don't have any other problems, a scratch on the surface of the eye can heal, but you want to make sure you don't have any problems in the meantime. So how do we diagnose this? Obviously, if you have an eye that's hurting a lot and maybe you got something in the eye, it sounds like it might be an abrasion. There are some other things that can be causing some of the same symptoms, including a conjunctivitis. One of the things we do is we look at the eye under the microscope and we can actually see these abrasions. And one of the things we do to help us see it is we'll put a yellow dye called fluorescein into the eye. And that fluorescein has a tendency to stick to areas that aren't well covered. So let me show you a video of what I'm talking about. This is now under a microscope, and I'm looking basically a bunch of yellow dye inside the eye, and you can see this little area here that's glowing kind of bright yellowish green. This is an area of an abrasion. The surface skin has been rubbed off. Hurts like anything. Fortunately, this heals over very quickly. So that yellow dye really helps us see and diagnose what's going on. Now, the thing you have to watch out for is you probably ought to see an eye doctor if your eye is hurting, certainly if you have any vision change, because an abrasion, if it gets infected, until that skin heals over, your eye is prone to getting infections. And if you get an infection in your cornea, that can be a big deal because an abrasion can become an ulcer. And an ulcer, if you get an infection in the cornea, ulcers right in the middle of your vision, worst possible place to have an infection because if that ulcer scars, you might have some permanent vision loss. So patients we're most worried about are usually contact lens wearers. And this is an abrasion right up here on the surface of the cornea, you can see there's sort of a whitish yellowish stuff. Well, that's all infection right there. And so this abrasion has turned into an ulcer. Fortunately, this one's way off to the side. So even if it does scar, hopefully it won't be in the middle of the visual axis and affect the vision, but this can very easily turn bad. So certainly contact lens wearers or um, really anyone can get an ulcer. So if your eyes hurting, you probably ought to come in because this needs to be treated with very aggressive antibiotics. So how do we treat these things? Like I mentioned, antibiotics, if it's a simple scratch, something like erythromycin ointment, if it's something uh, where I'm suspecting a dirty wound, so some type of foreign vegetable matter in the eye or a contact lens, then it have to be a little bit more aggressive as far as that coverage. Pain control. Like I said, very painful when you get a scratch on the surface of the eye. Unfortunately, there are no good pain medicines for the eye. There's no good eye drops. The Numbing drops that we use sometimes in the eye clinic are very unhealthy for the eye. You can't send a patient home with these because it'll kill the cornea. So usually Tylenol, cool compresses. Fortunately, it heals very quickly, so the pain uh, goes away. But probably the biggest one here is frequent checks. Until an abrasion heals over, it's at risk for turning into an ulcer or getting infected. And so certainly you need to get checked up uh, fairly frequently until things have healed over just to make sure you're not having a big problem. For more informative videos like this, visit us at tomokaeye.com, or if you would like to make an appointment to see one of our doctors, please call 386-672-4244.